Hello everyone, Charles Watts here, the Arsenal correspondent at Goal, joining you on Friday and joining you from my car. Which can mean, of course, only one thing. I'm here at the Arsenal training ground at London Colney, ahead of Mikel Arteta's press conference. He will be speaking in what we're about just under an hour's time ahead of the game against Bournemouth tomorrow at the Emirates. So we'll get the latest team news, that sort of thing from Mikel, we'll get his views on the latest talking points, whether we're making changes. I imagine how the Europa League, which starts again next Thursday night, of course, against Sporting Lisbon, will change his approach to potential starting 11s, a need for rotation, that sort of thing, uh, plus any other the big talking points at Arsenal right now. Whether he actually opens up and says too much, doubtful, because that's Mikel Arteta, it's the way he goes, and can't really complain, because it's certainly done him no harm up to this point. Um, so yeah, I'll go heading in there now, and then once Arteta is done, I'll come back and report and go over some of the key things that he has had to say. Speak to you in a bit. Right, so that's that from Mikel's press conference. A few things to talk about from it. He wasn't exactly open, as always, when it comes to Mikel. Sort of talks about the things he wanted to talk about. Certainly brushed aside the things he didn't, which I'm sure by now you are all very much aware of, the way he handles a press conference. But there were a few in interesting things, mainly about injuries, I'd say. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, Eddie Nketiah, Jorginho. Uh, spoke a little bit kind of about Saka and Saliba's uh, contract situation, but... Uh, nothing major on that. But in terms of the injuries, I'll start with Gabriel Jesus. This was probably the most interesting thing, although a little bit of a concern about what we had to say about Eddie and Ketia. I'll get to that in a minute. But on Jesus, he says he's not far away now. I don't want to give a timeline for certain things, um, but he's doing certain things with the team and certain things outside of the team. He's not very close, but he's not far at all, which makes me laugh. It's the most classic Mikel Arteta quote I've ever heard. He's not very close, but he's not far at all. I mean, what does that even mean? Uh, it said he's feeling better every day and the doctors are confident with the way his injury is evolving. We're in a good place with him, I think. Uh, I asked him if he's started full contract training yet and he said no. I then asked him, do you think you probably might throw him into an under-21s game first just to get him some minutes before he comes back into the main squad? And he said, we need to see how busy the schedule is and where we have space between the games to fit that in, whether we feel he needs it and how much we will get from it. There are some good questions we need to ask in the next seven to ten days, I think. Um, sort of someone else asked a question about it and he said, I'm saying we're not far away, but obviously he has much more to do with the team. Let's see how the next week, 10 days develop and we'll know then and we'll have a better picture. So the fact he's there mentioned seven to 10 days twice in that makes me think, you know, that's maybe the stage where he might start coming back to full training as in contact training, maybe in seven to 10 days. Now, I've still got three Premier League games before the international break. So they've got obviously tomorrow, then they've got Fulham and they've got someone else, I can't remember who it was, um, just before the international break. I think it's probably a push if he's going to come back before then, but, you know, that's just me as a hunch. I just wonder if they might wait, have the international break, really get him up to speed during that break and then bring him back. I think Leeds is the first game after the international break. It's the start of April. You've got two months left then to really let Jesus, sort of unleash Jesus for the final two months of the season. I just think you don't want to take any sort of risk of him. I'd be surprised if they throw him in a little bit early. I just think they'll just err on the side of caution with Jesus. We might have to wait until after the international break. But that, again, is just pure hunch. So don't take that as granted or given or anything like that. I just feel um, they might err on the side of caution with it. But still, I think it's a positive um, update nonetheless on him. On Eddie, this was a bit, a bit different, I thought, with Eddie. This is what he had to say about Eddie. Because we saw... At the end of the game on Wednesday night against Everton, when the full-time whistle went, Eddie fell to the floor. He sort of, basically, yeah, well, he fell to the floor. And he did get up after a few seconds. The medical staff went over to him and he limped off straight down the tunnel. Um, and he has been carrying an issue for a while, for the last couple of weeks. Now, it's an ankle injury. It's a problem with his right ankle. And uh, Mikel said, we are assessing him. It's a bit uncertain what is going to happen with him, to be honest. Let's see and keep the options open. He's very positive about it. Hopefully, he'll be fine. But then when he was kind of pushed on it a little bit more, he was asked, you know, is this a long term thing for Eddie? And he said, he said, hopefully not. And he said, but are you sure about that? And he said, no. 
So he said he wasn't sure. So I think what's, the next couple of days are going to be key to determining what's going on with Eddie. I, personally, it sounds like he's not going to be involved at the weekend. I'd be surprised. And they're going to do further checks to see what the exact sort of full extent is. But there's certainly uncertainty, or it seems like there's uncertainty over the exact extent of this ankle injury that Eddie's got. The, the hope is that it's nothing serious and someone else at Arsenal has kind of reaffirmed that to us after the press conference when we were talking, trying to get a little bit more clarity about the situation. Um, but I think it's definitely fair to say there's a little bit of uncertainty at the moment when it comes to Eddie and Ketia's problem. Um, but I'd be very surprised if he's involved this weekend. I, I fancy that it'll be uh, Trossard leaning the line and, and Ketia might not even make the squad for this one, but we shall see. He then asked about Jorginho, who went off at half-time, obviously in the game against Everton on Wednesday night. He said, Georgie's fine. He's had an illness. He was suffering but to be fair, he put in a great effort and shift in the first half against Everton. We decided to take him off, but he's fit now. So Jorginho is fine to feature uh, this weekend in the squad. But personally, I think Thomas Partey will be starting that game. Anyway, Jorginho will be back on the bench. Uh, okay, quickly moving on from injuries on Saka and Saliba's contract. Um, he said, every player is very important. There are players with special circumstances contractually. We are trying to deal with them, but I don't want to cause any distraction with any of those conversations at this moment. Whenever something is ready to get done and it's good news, we will announce it. Now, we know with Saka, that is pretty much done. It's been agreed in principle. I've reported that for the last couple of weeks. It's just a case of getting it done and officially signed, get it over to the lawyers, that sort of thing. But Arsenal are very confident that that has now been agreed and Saka will sign. Saliba still going on, of course. Uh, might have to wait a little bit longer when it comes to him. But once Saka's done, you know, that's sort of Martinelli down, Saka down. And then you can just really focus on Saliba and put all your efforts into getting that one done. And fingers crossed, they will do it fairly soon. Other than that, you know, there was nothing major from the press conference. Um, do get over to arsenal.com. The full transcript will be up there soon, if it's not already up there now, to see what else he had to say against the, uh, ahead of the game against Bournemouth. But I think those are certainly the key talking points in the injuries to the injury updates involving Gabriel Jesus and Eddie Inketia. OK, so before I go, predicted 11-wise for the game at the weekend, um, I don't think we're going to see too much different. I actually asked Mikel, you know, is this a stage of the season now where you're going to start rotating and you can basically pretty much have two teams and get into a rhythm because you can have Premier League team and then the Europa League team on a Thursday night. And he said, we'll have to wait and see. He said, that is a possibility. He said before early in the season, they didn't have the option to do that because they only had sort of 15, 16 players. Clearly now the squad is a little bit stronger. They have more options and you can sort of get into that routine potentially of almost having two teams. So it'll be interesting to see. I think this one will certainly be the Premier League team that we've seen the last couple of games. Arsenal were unchanged against Everton from the team that played against Leicester. I think they probably will be again this time, aside from Thomas Partey coming back into the starting 11 for Jorginho. So I'd say my predicted 11 for this one is going to be Ramsdale in goal, um, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel and Sinchenko as a back four. Thomas Partey as a holding midfielder. Then Xhaka and Odegaard completing that midfield three. And then it will be um, Saka, Trossard and Martinelli as the forwards. So that's my predicted 11 for this game. But anything you've heard with, disagreed with, agreed with in this video, whatever team you want to see played tomorrow, let me know in the comments below. Until then, everyone, I'm going to head off now. So goodbye from London Colney. I'll be at the game tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for all the usual stuff from me. Another big game at the Emirates. Have a great day.